for 2019, the arts and creative industry is to rebrand, revamp, and redefine itself without limitations in associations or groups to a sector marketing the true Ghanaian identity. At a gathering of industry players, sector minister Mrs. Catherine Afeku encouraged members to rally around the flag to turn around the fortunes of the industry to meet global standards. From music to the arts, culture and tourism, the creative arts industry represents the Ghanaian people. As the year draws to a close, the Creative Arts Council interacted with partners on the gains and shortcomings in the year under review while charting a new path for 2019, dubbed the Year of Return. Panafest is a big one, but 2018 we did not celebrate because we want to do it bigger to coincide with the Year of Return. We don't have a register that has every creative practitioner on. It can be done. There are a lot of talented people amongst us. Why can't we just put a little money, create a database, so when you send an email, it goes to all of us in the sector. Some practitioners raised concern on budgetary allocations, renovations of the National Theatre, digital TV, creative art bill, and the state of the proposed multi-purpose village for the industry. In uh, outlining the proposed programs for 2019, first of all, I didn't hear of the various divisions and what has been located for these various divisions in the areas of one infrastructure two capacity building or training for that matter and three freedom of movement of artists at least within Ghana moving forward we must accept that we do not live on an island and team number has come to stay. We can only become more powerful and ask for more from government when government sees what we give this to what we give to them. No government would want to invest into people that if you want to take what they contribute to the nation, there's nothing. In the coming year, the industry will undertake exchange programs with other countries like Spain. China and Europe to enlighten members on how to make a mark on the international scene.